Question, hey Patrick, does Blender Octane have AGX? No, but I can show you how to get it. Let's get into it. All right, guys, if you're new here, my name is Patrick LeVar. I make videos about Blender Octane. Yes, Blender Octane, it is free. That's a thing, right? Let's get into how to set up AGX. If you first jump into Blender Octane and you notice you scroll all the way down to your, your settings here in your render settings, you go down to your color management, you have sRGB, and then you come in the view transform, you have raw, there's AGX. Oh, we have AGX, it's no big deal. Wrong, that does not work. It look here, always use raw view transform in Octane. So we need to set this to raw. Now I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to set it up. First thing first, you're going to need to go to this GitHub and download the OCIO. I'll have the link down in the description. Once you get that download and saved on your computer, we're gonna jump back into Blender Octane. You're gonna go over to your edit you're going to go over to your preferences you're going to open up octane go oct there is my octane blender scroll that tab down you're going to scroll all the way down to color management you can clearly see i already have it set up but i'm just going to show you by default this will be checked like this you're going to go use other config file check that box then you're going to open up this tab and you're going to navigate to the folder where you saved the AGX files, right? Once you have that, you're going to select on config OCIO, hit accept, and then you'll have it inside of here. Once we're done with that, that's all you pretty much need to do. Go ahead and save your preferences, close it out. Now you hit in on your keyboard, jump into your octane camera imager and in your camera imager you're going to scroll down here to ocio it should be like this by default nothing in it right i do have aces tone mapping set to default on mine so i'm going to turn off the aces tone mapping it might look like this minimize just go ahead and open that up now if we go to O C I O scroll that down boom here it is now you've got it all here i'm going to go to srgb AGX, click on that. From here, we can also choose OCIO. You can choose different looks, golden punchy. I'm actually gonna open up a better scene that to, so we can get a good look at what it's doing. At the moment, here is just the standard look. We have nothing, this is vanilla blender octane, right? Again, just in our raw color transform. So what I'm gonna do again is just repeat that process. I'm gonna go in here, select sRGB AGX, boom. Now you can see it just totally changed here. Everything got lightened up a little bit. Then I can even go into here, golden, and I can come down to here, punchy. It's a little bit more contrasty look. So now you can clearly see it working. Now, what I want to also show you really, really fast, the power of this AGX. Let me quickly open up something really fast here. So I've got my scene and I've got an HDR in here just to quickly show you here. If we look at our HDR and we look at this window back here, we got this window. Let me go ahead and mute this light here for a second. You look at our window here, it's completely blown out and we can't really see any details. If you come in here, go to your ICO, again, turn that back on the AGX, boom, look at the difference that makes. Now we can clearly see details. We can see some branches inside of here. So it really just softens that roll off on the highlights here. Let's go to punch and see what that looks. Boom, that adds a little bit more contrast into there, but that's very impressive to see the difference. Look here in this bookshelf here in the background. Look at the books. You can see all the way to the back wall. If I turn off punchy, boom, look how much it really lightens that up again this is the power of agx let's turn off that now we got that it looks okay in the shadows but you can really clearly see the difference that agx is making here in our highlights again let's go ahead and turn that back on agx boom there it is and then if i go to agx punchy there it is and again i think i accidentally had tipped this here what is this force tone mapping well, i don't know what it is so i'm not going to talk about it quick tip for those of you who stayed around to the end now if you don't want to use the agx and you prefer to use the aces tone mapping if you come here tone mapping hit aces tone mapping this is what aces is doing to it okay and a lot of people think that you can just tab this and you're done and you export out aces no it doesn't really work like this if you preferred this aces tone mapping look you wanted to export this out and burn it into the render the way you would go about that is, is you're going to need to come over here to your outputs scroll down and you're gonna see this box here says octane outputs it will be checked off like that by default you want to turn that on scroll it down go ahead and save out where you're gonna save your file to you're gonna to need to turn this from PNG you're gonna go down to EXRs then you can choose whatever your float you want 16-bit float and then you can see here I have aces CG by default it will say nothing you scroll this down Boom, here it is. You can select a couple of these other ones if you know what you're getting into. I don't, I just stay with what I know. And then here, Aces CG. And then I'll go ahead and change this to DWAA lossless, which is a great file size uh, if you really wanna reduce your file size on the EXRs. And now, if I render and export, now I'm saving an EXR in Aces 
color space okay so then you're all good to go bring that into davinci resolve open it up in aces color workspace and you're all ready to go if you guys are really into blender octane i do have a community in that community we're all about blender octane we share blend files we have community challenges you can get access to me one-on-one -on -one live streams all types of stuff like that we have an octane database of materials that we're building there and we've got all kinds of nodes set up it's a really cool tight niche community of blender octaners links down below if you guys are into that if not would you guys consider hitting the subscribe button? I'll catch you guys in the next video. Patrick LeVar, keep rendering. It's the only way you'll get better. Peace.